The Mighty Dyke of Marib The dike at Marib was about 1,800 feet long, or 550 meters, and irrigated over 4,000 acres of land. It was built by the Sabaean people, 950 to 115 BC. This is a folk tale from Yemen. One night, Queen Zarifa heard a voice in the night. Zarifa, you may choose. You may have a child to bring you delight or knowledge to fill your soul. Which do you choose? Without hesitation, Zarifa spoke. I choose knowledge. At once, she felt a hand placed on her head, and she realized that knowledge was entering her being. And then she felt a hand placed on her womb, and she knew she would be barren from that moment. The king and queen lived happily until one night the queen had a horrid dream. I saw thunderbolts shattering our world, she told the king when she awoke, but he told her it was nothing more than a bad dream. Some days later, the king went down to the orchard with two slave girls. Zarifa walked with one of her slave boys to find him. Suddenly, on the path, she saw three rats standing up on their hind legs with their paws over their eyes. Zarifa knew that this was a bad omen. She crouched down and covered her own eyes. Tell me when the rats are gone, she directed her slave boy. Then she continued on. Suddenly, a tortoise leaped out of the stream and landed on its back. This too must be an evil omen. When she reached the orchard, the trees were swaying, though there was no breeze. She told her husband of these omens, and falling into a trance, she began to forecast the destruction of their valley. The dike of Marib will fall, she wailed. Our land will be destroyed. The king did not want to believe this horrible fate. She told him to go to the dam and watch. If he saw rats burrowing among the rocks there, he must know it was true. Sure enough, the rats were scurrying about and digging right into the face of the dam. Boulders were starting to roll away. King Amr took all of his people, and they fled their valley. He led his own and many other tribes away from the disaster that would soon befall. Because of Queen Zarifa, the people were saved, and the dam did not break.